this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the rectangle bracelet. This is an intermediate level design. To make this bracelet you will need 28 A colored bands, 12 B colored bands, 12 C colored bands, and a C clip. I will be using black, red, and yellow. It's a good idea to have these supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now let's get started. First, we'll turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing forward. We'll start with placing two A-colored bands at the beginning of the loom. We'll start from the middle pin and we place band number one going out to the left. Band number two will go out to the right. Now I'll start a pattern of foreign bands as shown in the graphic. When you place bands one and two, place them one at a time and keep them in the right order on the pin. We'll start with our B band, place band one going straight across. Then just above that we'll place our C band, number two. Then number three we'll place on the side, three. And then four, we'll use another A band and place it up the right side. Now we'll continue this one through four pattern to the end of the loom. I'll show you one more time and then we'll fast forward. We place our B band going straight across, just above that for step two. We'll place our C band. Three will be another A band going up the left side. And we'll do that again on the right side. That's number four. We'll do this one more time. Please pause the video and refer to the graphic on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. We'll fast forward after this one. Place a B band going across. One. Number two will be the C band. three, the left side, and four, up the right side. And here at the end, we'll place an A band going into the center. And from the right side, place that band just like that. Now that we've finished placing the bands, we'll need to place a cap band on this last pin. We'll grab our A band, put two fingers through it, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that last pin. Now, after all the bands are placed on the loom, you're ready to start looping. You'll turn your loom around, and the red arrow will be pointing toward you. We'll start off by looping these first two bands. With your hook, you pull the cat band back. That's the first two black bands. Reach over to the side, grab the left band, hold the cat band down with your thumb, and pull the band out to the left side. The second band we'll loop is to the right. You reach in, pull that back, grab the band, and pull it out to the side.
Now we'll be starting the looping pattern one through four. We'll start with the B band. So we pull these bands back, slide our hook in and get the B band on our hook. And we pull that to the left side. Number two, we'll be grabbing the C band and pulling it to the right. So you pull all the bands above the C band back, get the C band on your hook, and you pull it to the right. Number three, we'll be looping the A band forward. You pull all those bands back, reach in and grab that, and you pull the A band forward. Number four, we'll be looping this band. So you pull all those back, get that in your hook, and you pull it forward. We'll do this again, and you can refer to the graphic on the top of your screen. We reach in and grab our B band on our hook, and pull that over to the left. Number two, we get our C band and pull it to the right. Number three, we pull those back, grab our A band and pull it forward. Number four, we reach in here, get the A band and pull it forward. Now we'll fast forward from here and you can pause the video and refer to the graphic at the top of your screen. And these last two will pull to the center pin. And there we finished looping all our bands. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. You'll turn your loom, and then you'll move all of these bands on that last pin up to the top. You'll grab an A-colored band, slide your hook down through the channel of that last pin and tilt it to the side. Place your A band on the end of your hook and pull against it. Tilt your hook back as you slide it up through there. Bring both bands up to your hook and slide them up to the thickest part. Now with your fingers, you'll pull these first bands off the loom, and then you'll continue to pull them off the loom. And you've got your bracelet. You locate that cat band, which is that double loop band. Now we're ready to extend the bracelet. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many additional bands you will need to extend. For smaller wrists, three or four bands may work. For larger wrists, six or more bands may work. We'll start from the first pin, and we'll place those bands in a single chain going up the side of the loom. And we'll 
I'll turn that. We get that cat band. We stretch that and we'll place it over the last band placed and the pin behind it. Now we'll loop the bands with your hook. Loop these. And once you get to that last pin, you'll pull it to the middle one. And this is the area where you can attach your C-clip. You grab your C-clip so that the open side is facing outward, snap it over that band, make sure it's on there, and then you take it off. Then on the end where you have your hook, you'll pull that and place your two fingers in there, slide your hook out. You've got this area here that you can attach your C-clip, Put all the bands to one side, put that over there and secure it going in the opposite direction. It's on there really good. And there you have your finished rectangle bracelet.